Hi, Tracy says, Tracy McElfresh here. I am in my Rosewood studio in Kettering and I am working on alterations today. So I've got wedding dresses, bridesmaids dresses and all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit of a backstory about how I got started in alterations. So it was the very first thing that I learned. When I was a kid, my mom didn't believe in buying anything new. I had two baby sisters and she would take me to the thrift store and give me 20 bucks and cut me loose in there and me and my friend would go crazy. Um, in the 80s, vintage wasn't cool, so you could get all kinds of cool 60s clothes, 50s clothes, 40s clothes, and this is really sad, but my friend and I would take them all and cut them up and make new designs out of them. We would remove sleeves. Um, this was before the word even upcycling came about, and that has helped me today with project construction because learning deconstruction first has really helped give me the courage to cut up people's wedding dresses and things like that. So um, I'm here to talk about how to get into the wedding dress if you have a hemline that's sewn to the lining. So I have this beautiful wedding dress. It's got a lace overlay and then it's got another layer called the underlay. It's underneath the lace, which that makes sense. And then it's got a lining layer and the lining layer is actually sewn inside out and then it's understitched all along so it doesn't pop out. So I can't really get up inside the dress. So the first thing you wanna do when you take an alteration in is assess how easy it is to get into the dress. So some of them you can get right in there and some of them you have to kind of map it out and figure it out. So for this dress, I looked on the inside, I looked to see where the boning was at so I wasn't trying to take it apart where there was boning. And I went in and found a side seam that looked easy to get into. So I just took my seam ripper and I popped out a couple little stitches and then I slowly pulled it open and I pulled it open enough, probably about 12 to 14 inches, to get the entire dress flipped out, to take it apart, and then I will go ahead and put it back together again, and then I'll pin this really nice and evenly all together and just top stitch with white thread, and no one will even know that I took it apart. So that's it, Tracy McElfresh, Tracy Sews. I'm in Dayton, Ohio. I do alterations and custom orders, and then I also teach here at Rosewood and a few other awesome places in town. So check me out. If you need anything, holler. Thanks, bye.